When you give a presentation, it's important that the PowerPoint slide is only there to support your message. Instead of using just text in your slides, it's really powerful to use graphics. In PowerPoint 2007, Microsoft introduced something called Smart Art. And even though it's been in every version of PowerPoint since then, very few people know how to use it effectively. The beauty with Smart Art is that you don't have to waste time drawing shapes yourself. This is automatically done for you. To show you how this works, I'm going to use a presentation that I've created on the topic brand management, and I'm going to convert the text in the slides to eye-catching graphics. Here I have a presentation about brand management. As you can see, I only have text in my slides. I'm going to use Smart Art Graphics in PowerPoint 2013 to convert the text into graphics that look like this. As you can see, the slides are much easier to digest, and the graphics help to communicate the message of each slide. Hi, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know that if you're annoyed by the ads in this video, you can access our tutorials ad-free by getting a subscription to businessproductivity.com or signing up for one of our many courses on platforms such as Udemy, CyberU, and Vimeo On Demand. I also wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a bit more about Storials. Storials, which stands for Story-Based Tutorials, is our video package offering for organizations that want to increase employee productivity using Office 365. With Storials, organizations can inspire, motivate, and educate users on effective use of Office 365 by showcasing real-life best practices. Finally, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channels, Business Productivity and Storials. Here you will also find my video blog, Succeed in the Digital Workplace, as well as other videos that can help you increase your productivity. If you have any questions or comments, please post them here and I'll do my very best to get back to you. With that, let's go back to the tutorial. Thank you for watching. The message of this first slide is that very few brands are top of mind. Most of the brands are totally unknown to us. So to illustrate this, I will turn this text into a pyramid. To convert text into smart art, mark the text, right click and select convert to smart art. Here I'll select the pyramid graphic. A pyramid is inserted for me with a text in my slide. The Smart Art Tools menu opens up and here I'm given more options to modify my Smart Art graphic. Under the Design tab, I can change the layout of the pyramid. I get a live preview of what the different layouts would look like. Here, I'll just stick to the original layout. In the Smart Art Style section, I can change the color. So here I'll just change it to darker blue. I have a gallery of different designs that I can apply to my smart art graphic. I'll select a nice 3D design for my pyramid. On this next slide, I want to show how these four elements affect one another. So I'll turn the text into a matrix. I'll right click again and select convert to smart art. And here I'll select the basic matrix. Even though this is a good start, I'm not 100% happy with this graphic. To modify smart art graphics further, you can convert them into normal shapes. To do that, have the smart art graphic marked, and under the smart art tools design tab, click convert to shapes. Now the graphic has been converted to individual shapes that I can work with independently. I'll right click and select group and then ungroup. Now I can remove the background square by marking it and pressing delete on my keyboard. I'll insert an additional arrow shape by clicking insert shapes and then selecting a block arrow. In PowerPoint 2013, Microsoft has introduced alignment guides. These are really useful when you're positioning objects. The red lines appear automatically as soon as you're aligning objects or text next to each other. I'll copy the arrow using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl+C, c and then paste it in using the keyboard shortcut 
Control v I'll position this arrow next to the first, again being helped by the alignment guides. I'll copy and paste again, and this time I want to rotate the arrow 90 degrees. I'll go to the Drawing Tools, Format menu, and in the Arrange section, I'll click Rotate Right 90 degrees. Now, I'll position the final two arrows in my shape with the help of the alignment guides. There! Now it's done. The text on this next slide can be converted into a cycle process. I'll mark the text, click Convert to SmartArt, and select a simple cycle process. Whenever you want to add more text to your SmartArt graphics, you can do so by typing in the text box. Here, I'll add one more step in the process by adding Change. I'll change the order of the steps by clicking Move Up, I can also change the direction of the arrows by clicking right to left. Again, I'll go to the Design Gallery and select a nice finishing. This next slide is just filled with a lot of text. I'm going to turn this into a hierarchy, and this is one of my absolute favorites. I'll mark the text, right click, and select Convert to SmartArt. Here, I'll click More Smart Art Graphics. Here you can see all the smart art graphics grouped into various categories. I'll go to the hierarchy category and select the half circle organization chart and click OK. And there we go. Now isn't that great? Can you imagine how long it would take me to do that by hand? Up until now I've only showed you how to convert text into smart art. Before I end, I want to show you how you can start from scratch. So I'll delete the text on this slide. To insert SmartArt from scratch, either click the SmartArt icon on the slide or go to the Insert tab and click SmartArt. Here I'll select a relationship graphic with two counterbalance arrows and click OK. Now I'll enter my text in the text box. This SmartArt graphic can only take two lines of text. If I try to add a third, you'll see a red cross indicating that it will not be visible in the smart art graphic. So I'll just delete the third row. As a final touch, I'll add a 3D design to the graphic and resize it by dragging the right corner while holding down the left mouse button. Now I'll center the smart art by going to the Home tab, click Arrange, Align, and then Align Center. There, now let's have a look at the final result. In just a few minutes, I've created eye-catching slides using smart art graphics in PowerPoint 2013.